Analyzing market structure can be incredibly important for both novice and experienced traders. Understanding market structure allows traders to identify the direction of market trends, potential reversal points, and overall market conditions. By examining factors such as supply and demand, price action, and market sentiment, traders can make more informed decisions about when to enter or exit trades. This knowledge can ultimately help traders improve their trading strategies and increase their chances of success in the market. Hello friends, welcome back to Trader DNA. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to read the market conditions like a professional trader. We'll cover everything from the basics to advanced concepts of smart money, focusing on understanding the market's character and determining the direction of price trends. So, without further ado, let's dive right into this video. First, let's start with a question. What is market structure? When we talk about market structure, we're referring to swing highs and swing lows in price movements, as well as areas where prices have shown previous reactions. We can consider all of these as part of the market structure that forms the framework for price movements. Now, I'll introduce some basic concepts about smart money's market structure. As you may know, in an ideal uptrend market, prices will continue to form higher highs and higher lows. Every time the market breaks above a prior high, we can refer to it as a break of structure. This indicates that the market is likely to continue the bullish trend momentum. On the other hand, if the market breaks below a prior low, we can call it a change of character, signaling a potential change in the trend direction. So, this is the key point to remember. A break of structure remains valid, even if only the candle's wick is above the prior high, and a demand zone eventually forms, presenting a valid trading opportunity. However, for a change of character, the price must break and close below the prior low to be confirmed. If not, we would consider the market still bullish. However, market movements are often not as clear-cut. So, the question arises. At what point of this break is considered valid and regarded as a change of character? To answer this question, first, we need to identify our swing low. In a bullish market, the lowest point between two consecutive highs will be identified as the swing low. Here, we can observe two consecutive highs. So, the lowest point between these two highs is our swing low. Now, as long as the price remains above this level, it indicates the market is still bullish and will only look for buy entry opportunities. For a valid change of character, we need to see the price break and close below this level. Here, we can also revisit the break of structure caused by this movement. So, the lowest point between two consecutive highs will be designated as the swing low. Again, we can observe two consecutive swing highs, and in between them, we have the swing low. And this concept also applies to bearish markets. Next, let's address the following question. When can we identify a change of character that will alter the trend direction? To answer this question, we need to understand the nature of market structure. Imagine we're observing a clear uptrend on the H4 time frame, creating impulsive and corrective movements where prices consistently form higher highs and higher lows. If you zoom into the H1 time frame in ideal conditions, you'll notice that the impulsive movement on the H4 actually consists of impulsive and corrective movements on the H1, always respecting the higher low. However, in less ideal conditions, prices may create fake breakouts before being pushed back up and forming higher highs. When traders encounter these fakeouts, they might believe that the market is reversing, often misled to enter selling positions at supply areas and getting stopped out. So, if we have a good understanding of market structure, you'll realize that the structure on the larger time frame is bullish. Thus, we'll only look for demand order blocks and enter according to the trend prevailing on the larger time frame. So, here's the key point. The best trading areas are when the lower and larger time frames show the same trend direction. For example, this is the impulsive and corrective movement we can see. However, when we zoom out to the H4 time frame, we'll only see the structure. So, in areas where both H4 and H1 show the same direction, our trading will be clearer and have a higher probability because we'll enter in line with the dominant trend. Now, we've covered some basic concepts of market structure. Let's proceed to more advanced discussions. But before that, if you've enjoyed our discussion so far, please take a moment to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It's your support that encourages me to keep making videos like this. Now, let's continue. When we talk about the concept of market structure, we're discussing who dominates the market, whether it's supply or demand. 
However, the key point here is that there are three criteria for valid supply and demand zones. So, the occurrence of a breakout or break from a valid level can be a sign for us to identify the direction of the market. The first criterion for a valid zone is an area that exhibits imbalance. Imbalance refers to the disparity between the number of buyers and sellers, resulting in impulsive movements in the market. The second criterion for a valid area is that the price must experience a break of structure or change of character. The third criterion is that the area must be unmitigated. Supply and demand areas should ideally only be touched once. So, if an area has been touched or mitigated before, we can consider it invalid and less probable. If an area doesn't meet any of these three criteria, we don't consider it a valid supply or demand area. Now, I'll show you some of the most common market structure patterns and how to apply them to chart patterns. First is what's commonly known as the market flip. This pattern usually forms at the end of a trend when the main trend starts to exhaust and creates a change in direction. We have a valid demand zone marked by a break of structure in the presence of imbalance. The price touches this level but fails to make a higher high, indicating a loss of momentum for buyers. Eventually, the price declines, showing a change of character and creating a good trading opportunity. So, we'll enter a sell position when the price touches the supply area, and our ideal target will be at the next demand level. As shown in this H4 timeframe chart, here, we can see a clear uptrend until the market reaches this valid demand area, where a break of structure and imbalance occur. The price bounces from this area, but fails to create a new higher high, and eventually breaks below the demand area and the prior low structure. So, this is a valid change of character movement that creates an attractive adjacent area. Here, we can enter sell when the price reaches this order block area, and our ideal target will be at the next demand zone in the market. The best indicators for smart money analysis. We've discussed everything about smart money analysis. This analysis method might initially seem difficult for beginner traders, but for professional traders, it's an essential analysis that they've surely mastered. Therefore, as a helpful tool, I'm including the best indicators that can assist beginner traders in identifying supply and demand areas, as well as candle imbalances. Equally important, I'm also including the change of character and break of structure indicators. By using these tools, you won't be confused by the complexities of manual analysis anymore. Now, you can focus solely on executing buy or sell positions accurately. As seen in the examples, we can conclude that this is a highly productive trading strategy for making money in the forex, crypto, commodity, and stock markets. What's important to remember is that setups like this have a good risk-reward ratio. So, even if the win rate is lower than 50%, in the end, you can still profit. However, you still need to practice through back-testing while training your eyes. So, if you need these settings, I have already provided them in the video description column. I have included a template with a system that you can easily apply to your charts, automatically plotting all these indicators accurately. This way, there is no need for any additional complexity. Get the download link in the description. I hope our discussion today has broadened your insights. And if you found this video helpful, please take a few seconds to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, because there will always be new videos from this channel. Don't forget to share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or X to show your support. Thank you for watching until the end, and see you in the next video.